master your look and feel. With CSRO, we've introduced themes and placeholders. Themes and placeholders are really the things which are really new in terms of the out systems language in CSRO. And they essentially allow you to switch your look easily or customize your look with minimal effort. And to better explain what this is exactly, I'm gonna I'm now gonna switch back into Surface Studio so I can show you a bit what themes are, what placeholders are, and really how you can take advantage of them. Service Studio. So let me go back to the sales application. The first thing I want to show you in the sales application is that there's a property in your application, in your eSpace if you will, which is the default theme. Now, the theme sales is by default actually included in your eSpace, although you can actually reference themes across eSpaces. There are a few things which are really important in themes. One that you have to know is that themes support inheritance and therefore one of the things you specify for a given theme is its base theme. In the typical case you'll use one of the base themes which are included in rich widgets which are provided by out systems. In this specific case we were using black but we might as well use a different color <clears throat> or the wave theme which was one which was designed to make it really easy to change the logo of your application. Another thing related to this inheritance is that you can specify a style sheet for your theme and this style sheet really what it does is redefine typically specific things which you want to change from the themes which are above it in the inheritance relationship. And then there's a set of very important things in themes which are the IntelliWarp layout web blocks. Well, the IntelliWarp layout web blocks basically follow a concept which is pretty similar to a master page. Let me show you one of these layouts defined here so that you really understand how this works. A layout is, for example, this one. Layout normal. And as you can see, what this really contains is the structure of my page with the header and menus and sidebars, etc., but contains special widgets here called placeholders, which are meant for the title, for the main content, and for the actions. And for instance, I can show you that if I just create a new page you'll see that everything is predefined effectively. I cannot even change most, most of this stuff as this comes from this layout. But I have these spaces where I can fill in the specific content of my page. Effectively, these layout web blocks are, well, like the name says, web blocks. And although they, they can use pretty much as master pages, you even have more flexibility and can do more stuff than what you would be able to do with master pages. Now, let me just show you that I can actually change a bit this layout and it will get reflected across every page. I'll just change the logo and I'll move the actions to a different location. Let me change the logo. Let me just say that the image is the one that comes here. Another image. I'm actually gonna import an image which I have in my desktop. You can see that the image changed here. And I'm gonna do something else different. I'm gonna move this web block which contains uh, my tasks and recent items to before the actions placeholder. I have two ways of doing that. One way is just to drag it here. It works perfectly, no issues whatsoever. 
And then another one, which I actually wanted to show you because it's new in 6.0, which is we now have a widget tree. And in this widget tree, which you access by clicking this small button here, you actually have the ability of moving the elements in a hierarchical way and not a what you see is what you get way, which is sometimes good when you're working with some more uh, complex positioning and the like. So in this case, I'm just going to move the sidebar up and the actions will be moved down. Now, if I open any page, you'll see that this was reflected everywhere. So here, this changed position, this changed position, this changed position. So everywhere, things got changed to reflect my my changes to the layout web block automatically.